everyone I was suggested by a few people to make a video where I give tips on how I animate and stuff and for the for reference I use flash cs 5.5 so so you guys can stop asking me now here it is it's not free gotta pay for it but it's a good application for those of you who do have it this will be very helpful so here are just a few things that I do you it's always good to make your file big enough for or YouTube size which is 120 1280 by 720 I think and it looks like this and I set my camera to 75 because I think this is a good size for drawing. So one of the first things I do when I'm animating is usually I, I put the sound in and here's for everybody who uses flash this is incredibly helpful because I didn't know about this for a really long time and it actually like was really bothersome. When you're putting in audio, well let me let me get an audio out. So it's importing now and this will save lives. Just make a few frames and then go to the first one and uh, in the properties panel select sound and click your thing and then this is basically what like changed the entire way I animate because what used to happen was I thought you could only play it from the beginning like you couldn't here's an example you can't play it from right here nothing happens but if you start from the beginning it'll start playing which I don't know if you can hear and then it'll keep playing but what you have to do, what makes it like 10,000 times easier, is you have to do stream and repeat zero. And then you can go from any point in the song. If Maybe if I turn it up, you actually hear it. You go to any point in the song and it should play. What I used to do, I couldn't like go to the middle of my animation. Like if, my anim if I had something at... 180 frames. I couldn't just edit it there and listen to sound and do it. I thought I had to go all the way back to the beginning, wait for it to play, and then wait for it to go to like this frame, and then just see how it looks. But if you do stream for your audio, it makes it so much easier. So for anybody worry about that, I got you. Okay, next thing I would have to say that is super helpful that I haven't actually started doing until recently and I still don't do it because I'm lazy is that it's really really kind of important that you do sketches like not they don't even have to be good just like as long as you understand what's going on it really helps you and it doesn't even have to be like that correct or anything as long as it helps you get an idea of the motion here let me do a quick animation that if I did without sketching it would be much harder to do it frame by frame Onion skin, very important, so you can see the frames behind. This is just something quick. I don't even know what I'm doing. I'm just gonna go. And also, another important point as I do this. Um, you see his hair? How it's kind of going like this. What's important to do when you're moving something is that if there's anything lightweight on them, like clothes, if you want it to look like they're moving a lot, have them move in the direction opposite of where they're going. Because if they're moving like fast enough, like, you know, comedically, the air would be pushing like down here. Like, I don't even know how to explain it. It's just how it works. And it would be going in the opposite direction. And it makes it look much faster. And in-betweens, which are like, the ugly looking frames you get from animating usually are like fast movements like that like this right here like that's not what it looks like normally but it's being distorted because it's moving in a certain way and he'll pop up around here to go like like a little shark and now this is also important to remember that i am not a professional animator and everything i'm talking to you about is just what i do and i've learned from experience and myself in my in my like 16 years of age or whatever so i'm not one to really trust on this but i'm just gonna do this because i feel like it'll help some people and because there are some things i figured out that are actually like you know really helpful 
to me. So there we go. I don't know how this looks. I'm gonna look actually really choppy because of how I did it, but let's look at it. He needs a body. Ugh. And also, I realize I make mistakes, and that's okay. You can make mistakes. And if you notice, it's going very slow. That's because I use, like, usually the best... If you want something to go by fast, you do two frames for each drawing. And it tends to look better. And since this is, like, broad sketches for each movement, you might have to do some of them slower than others to show that it'll take take more than just one picture to get you where you need to go and this one's shorter because it's a movement and usually those aren't very long because if they were too long you'll it'd be like suspended in that space and it'll look really weird okay so there you go the smile looks weird i can't i can't do this a lot this is creeping me out and here's another tip for me when you're coloring things this I've been doing like the entire time I've had flash because flash is pretty annoying it doesn't let you have well there's like swatches but it doesn't really let you have a palette I'm sure it does but this is just way easier for me I make a layer on the very top I usually put my music on the bottom and the, the this layer on the top and the layer on the top is just it's like a palette so let's say we're gonna do I'm gonna do a color scheme I'm gonna make his hair a light green his skin lighter green, and his shirt will be this, and bluish green eyes. There we go. And I just keep that up there the entire animation. So whenever I need it, I can just eye drop it. And none of this is all too, yeah, there's too many gaps to fill these in, but I just eye drop the colors and I can color it in so, so much faster. And usually, I never go for black for outlining. I mean, I try not to now, I used to, because it just doesn't look good in my opinion. I try to do really dark red, dark blues, and like dark colors that it's almost black, but it's not. It just makes it look a lot cleaner, like this. It's a nice color scheme right here. Okay, so now that I got that, I can start drawing the actual frames for this and this takes oh and it's also very important that you do the sketches in a light color because you can't just make individual well you can but it takes like a really long time you got to turn them all into symbols and stuff to make it transparent it's just just don't bother with it just make it a light color and then delete it afterward so now I'm just gonna draw the frames excuse me while I do this also it's important well, not really important, but extremely favorable that you have very simple designs for your animations, because having something with a bunch of shading and stuff. Oh, my cat just walked in the room. Hello, Rico. If you have a drawing with a lot of shading and, like, details and stuff, you could do that, and that's all fine and well, and I admire you for that because that's really hard but it's gonna take a really really long time for you to animate and it's gonna get really annoying like real fast I'm starting out with just the the frames I drew then I'm gonna go in and make new keyframes in between everything to make it cleaner and smoother also another important thing is that I really it's just what I do. Try to close all the gaps at the bottom of your drawings or just complete the entire thing down here in case you're doing like a whole thing where you're moving it around because when you it makes it so much easier when you go back to color it where you could just go in there and color it. You can't see this. Everything inside the white box is obviously where you're going to be seeing in the finished animation. You should probably lock your palette there because you're gonna end up drawing it on, on it by mistake a lot. And then you're gonna find like the thing you drew on it. Like for example, if I drew this eye here, it'll just it'll show up on the entire thing, and it's that's not what you want. Don't do it. Do do do. 
Do 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 It was a party ah But I didn't remember Party ah But in September Party Okay, so I'm done with the basic thing So, you know It looks a bit cleaner I mean, a lot cleaner um, No, we can pretend he gets closer to you Because I'm too lazy to make this face bigger because if you notice, they're like, not similar at all. Which is also a thing you really need to watch out for. Continuity is key. Wink! Anyways, so now I got this. And I'm going to put in a few keyframes without sketching. Because I'm lazy to make this go run a little bit smoother. You know what, it's still very rough, as you can tell from like this part, it goes weird from here to here, but you know what, that's okay. Because I'm not trying to make a masterpiece here, I'm just trying to give an example. I've already taken too long <laughs> making these frames. For coloring, I don't think you can really do a new frame and do it under. It has to be on the frame because it won't let you color in things that aren't on the same layer as far as I know and here's a really good tip if you want to color in something but it's like oh you don't have a big enough uh, you don't have a small enough gap or whatever there's this little button over here it's a little circle perfect for like everything only problem is it makes it like makes like little things like this and you gotta fill them in it's a win-win win-lose I mean whatever Oh, see, sometimes you think it's not loading, but actually it's just you being wrong. And you're probably like, why am I doing this swamp green color scheme? You know what? I don't know. I just thought it would be interesting and creative. And that's, that's another important thing in animation. Like, don't be afraid to just do things that are like weird or you think might look weird like this. Like as a single frame that looks like freaking weird like what the heck what's wrong with him why does he look like a an egg but he's not an egg that's just him moving and it goes by so fast you can't even see it you just gotta in all things in art you just gotta take risks you know because you can always go back and erase it or delete it people seeing that you did something different it makes like it makes people a lot more I know I missed one makes people a lot more attracted to your art Ooh, he looks like an alien so yeah I'm not the best animator obviously as you can tell and I'm not the best artist as you can tell but I'm just showing you this treating myself again just to make sure nobody thinks that I actually think I'm good I'm just these are like basic animation tips that don't really have to do with like your art or anything. You could do this with anything. You want to draw your furries dancing, you could do this. You want to draw those Mario things like racist Mario or whatever, you can do this. You want to animate yourself making fried chicken, you can do this. I don't know. Whatever you want. Like you have free will pretty much. Oop, I did it. See, I drew on the top layer. I was like, why didn't that work? Here we go. His shirt's all colored. And, and this takes a really long time when you have a really long animation, by the way. This is probably the most annoying part about it is just coloring. It's so boring. I don't like it. It takes so long. It's just the same thing over and over again. Sorry, I'm like on the verge of cursing, but I don't know if I should because I don't exactly know what my audience is supposed to be. Um, stuff like stuck sh stick stick like this. Um, schnut schnuts like this. <laughs> on farkin schnuff like this. <laughs> farkin schnuff like this. Now I keep.
keep coloring for another good this is gonna be a long video I, if you don't know me already i tend to be very sarcastic to uh sarcastic sarcastic farkin sarcastic <laughs> So, okie dokie. Okay, so here we go. Woof. And now I gotta color in the pupils. Jesus Christ. No, I'm just not gonna do it. No, I have to. Okay, I'm gonna color them really quick. Luckily, I tried to make him go off screen for a while in here because I knew that this would take a while, and I'm like, no way, I'm gonna animate this entire thing. How long has it already been? I've been like making this video for like 30 minutes. This is horrible. Oh my goodness, this is gonna take so long to edit. Oof. Well, this was, this just gives you an example of like how long animation actually takes to do. Like, this is, takes 30 minutes to just do this. Like, imagine how long it takes to animate an entire 22 minute thing. A very long time, that's the answer. And you need a lot of people, so. Like, I'm in the middle of it, probably. Why did that not work? I'm in the process of animating something, and it's four minutes long, and it's taking me so far five months. Well, mostly because I'm going on and off and being lazy, but it's taking me basically like. I'd say I spent like at, at least um, 20 hours on it so far. At least. I don't really want to say a really big number because I don't know for sure, but I'm going to say 20 is good. Anyways, here we go. There we go. That's the the fruit the fruit of my efforts, or however you like to say it. Anyways, I hope this helped you, and if there's anything else in animation you have a question about, or how I do something, or if you use Flash, if there's a, something you have like don't understand, just let me know oh oh before i go i have to show you something else check this out okay ready you see how this is really messy and disgusting click on the frame and press v and go to this thingy it smooths out the line and usually with my art style it makes it look because i already draw pretty cleanly already it like makes it look kind of weird but in some frames it actually really helps smooth it out and if you do it for the entire thing it looks kind of cool nice like looks less rough it's cleaner problem is it does make the lines look thicker which i don't really like like you saw before the mouth kind of got bigger right here see i guess it, it looks a bit cleaner but it just it makes it look more like it was made in flash if you know what i mean there's just something about flash where you can just tell if someone's animated something in flash and i think that the smoothing tool is definitely a part of it. Um, I can't think of anything else to say, so thank you for watching this. I hope you enjoy it. Let me know in the comments what kind of videos you would like me to make or like kind of uh, like animation tips you want to know. And remember to hit that like button and uh, that subscribe button. Thank you. Have a good evening. I don't know what to say. Have thanks.